people in the 1800s always seemed so serious. When getting their photographs taken, it seemed like they seldom smiled. But sometimes they really let their hair down and actually enjoyed themselves. I hope you'll enjoy this issue of the Walla Walla Gazette newspaper, dated May 9th, 1896. Engine went down. The mixed train, consisting of a number of boxcars and one passenger coach from Pendleton to Walla Walla, was ditched Sunday morning at 11 o'clock just as it was nearing the Wallula switch at the outskirts of this city. By the greatest of fortune, none was injured. The train was on the high embankment near the northeast corner of the Garrison Reserve at the time it left the track. The engine ran on the ties for a hundred feet and there keeled over on its back like a shot hog, falling 15 feet. Although engineer Lewis Jones Fireman J.S. Turner were in the cab at the time of the accident and went over with her in the ditch, they were not hurt. It is a miracle that they were not killed as the cab was smashed to pieces and the steam escaped in quantities. Brakeman Fred Harrison succeeded in jumping from the engine just as the train left the track. Three boxcars went over with the engine and were badly demolished. It was estimated that it will take fully $2,000 to repair the damages. The derailment was caused by no fault of the trainmen. A rail, which looked as though it had been cracked for some time, separated and the track then spread. Large crowds visited the scene Sunday. The wreck was cleared up in a few hours. The Pirates of Penzance The excellent cast announced for the Pirates of Penzance at the Opera House, May 26, gives promise of a very satisfactory performance of this comic opera, which is generally regarded as the most attractive and tuneful of the many works written by Gilbert and Sullivan, who first acquired fame in Pinafore. As Mr. Van Hollebeck, wife and child, were coming down a grade over the Harvey Shaw Road last Sunday, one of the horses fell and Mr. Hollebeck and family were thrown over the dashboard on to the team. Fortunately, not one of them was seriously hurt. The child was bruised about the face and arms, but no bones broken. Mr. Hollebeck expects to take up his residence in Walla Walla soon. We have been having some fine rains during the past week and the farmers are happy. R.F. Jordan put out poison for squirrels and let his hogs run in the same field. They ate the poisoned wheat and 52 died. Farmers, beware how you let young hogs run where you have poison out. Robbery in Society, Mysterious Thefts at Olympia Functions. Olympia, May 3rd. Swell society of this city is suffering from what appears to be a series of very bold and successful robberies. Though perhaps it would be more charitable to call it an outbreak of kleptomania. At all the swell social events held here recently, something very valuable has been stolen. At one place it would be a diamond pin or necklace or some such article of personal adornment. At another, a valuable piece of bric-a-brac, or at another place, money. The robbers are reliably reported to range from the executive mansion 
scanned through the residence of nearly all state officers and prominent and wealthy citizens. Society is aghast at the suspicion that there is in their very midst and a part of it either a cold-blooded thief or a person with a memory in which things sink out of sight as rocks in quicksand. But when at subsequent functions, bureau drawers and bedrooms and dressing rooms were ransacked, society was paralyzed and set about keeping it a secret. But the information leaked out in some way, as mysterious as money leaks out of a public appropriations. Society is hushed about it for two reasons. One is to avoid any possible scandal and the other is that the thief or swell kleptomaniac sees the fact in the papers, he will thus find out that he has robbed somebody, whereas he might not know it and might then be caught. It has actually got so that people have quit giving receptions, parties, or social functions of any sort through the fear of being robbed. <laughs>